Hi and welcome to the Belfry. My name is Chris Ryan, this is the Brabazon Golf Course and in this video we're talking about the downswing and we're discussing the term getting stuck. We're going to talk about what it is, why you might want to work on it and what you can actually do to improve this element of your golf swing. Just before we get started in the corner of the screen you should have the details on my social media accounts so if you don't already then please go ahead and follow me on those. So we often hear golfers and sometimes these are the better golfers, maybe the lower handicap golfers, talking about getting stuck in the downswing. And as I say, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to discuss what that might mean, and then we're going to look at why that might be an issue for you, and then what you can do to maybe rectify that. So when we talk about, or when we hear a golfer tell us that they're getting stuck, what we would generally mean is that the golf club is getting too much behind them, so the club head is too much behind me at this point. And they often find that the body is a bit shut off to the target. So my shoulders are maybe excessively closed. My hips haven't really opened up, up enough. And they find that from here it's very difficult to get through the golf ball with good rotation. And they find that really the only thing they can do from here, because they are stuck, is to sort of flip the hands at it. And what we would tend to find is these golfers have a club path which is excessively to the right of their target. What that's going to mean is they will often hit shots which fly straight to the right, so a push shot, but they may well also hit shots which curve excessively to the left, a hook shot, because they're starting to rotate the club at a high rate, and very often on the course they can't predict which one of those is going to happen. One shot could be a push to the right, the next shot could be a hook to the left, and it becomes very difficult to plot your way around the golf course when you're not 100% sure about what that golf ball is going to do. So, as I said, we tend to find this a little bit more common in the better players. We would generally find that the higher handicappers tend to get the club a little bit too steep. The better players often find that they get the club stuck underneath and then they have the, the issues that we spoke about. So, the golf club travelling to the right is the big issue here because when the path is to the right we get those two shots that we spoke about. However, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to discuss what the body's role plays in this and how we can change what the body does to improve what the golf club does. So, what I would like you to do, if you feel this is you and you feel that like you get stuck in your downswing and you hit those shots, I want you to think about your belt buckle and I want you to think about the buttons or the zip on your top. Now, give or take, at setup, your belt buckle is going to be directly under your zip. There may be a little bit of separation in there depending on what club you're using, but let's say for argument's sake that the, the zip and the belt buckle are in a line. Now, when you get stuck, it would not be uncommon for that belt buckle to get excessively out in front of the buttons or the zip on your top. So you can see here how my belt is a lot closer to the target than the zip on my top. The reason for that is I have got too much bend to my right in my upper body. That excessive bend to my right, as you can see from the down the line camera as I do that, drops the club very much under and very much behind me. What that also does, it gets this lead shoulder very high, and then from here I'm in that position which doesn't feel particularly good, doesn't feel like I can rotate through, and really feels like I've got to now flip the hands through impact, and that's why we get those shots that we discussed early on. Now, in your downswing, there should be an element of bending to your right. That's fine, we understand that. However, if you're getting stuck, it would suggest that that element is too extreme and often too early in the goal swing. So here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to, from the top, try and get your golf club to last parallel, so that's here, with your buttons or your zip still above your belt buckle. So that would look a little bit more like this. There's my setup. You can see our zip's above belt. I go to the top. And as I start down, I'm going to try and feel like I keep my zip above my belt. What that's going to do is going to keep my hips a little bit more level. It's going to keep my shoulders a little bit more level. And it's going to take out some of that excessive bend to the right. If I now put some bend in to the right, you'll see that I get back to the sort of position or the look that we were trying to avoid at the start. So... This is a concept. This is a great concept for you to work on if you feel like this is you and you feel like you get stuck under. You're very simply going to make some backswings, and as you start down, you're going to keep your 
zip above your belt buckle. This is going to stop you getting too lateral with the hips, it's going to stop you tipping your upper body too much back away from the target and it's going to help hopefully help you improve your club path. If we are working on the direction that the golf club is travelling through impact, if the golf club is travelling to the right and we would like that golf club to travel closer to your target, we don't necessarily have to all, always work on the golf club itself. There is a huge correlation between what the body is doing and what the club is doing. If we can improve what the body is doing, we can change what the club is doing. If the body continues to do its move, too much bend to my right, upper body gets behind lower body, the club will get stuck under. If we can feel like we keep the upper body on top of the lower body, we're going to find that the club's delivery changes. That's going to change the club path. It will also most probably change the approach angle. You'll perhaps get a little bit steeper, you'll strike the ball a little bit better, but ultimately you'll lose the push shots and the hook shots the more you work on this. Okay? So if you feel like you're getting stuck, you're hitting push shots, you're hitting hook shots, you can't really control the ball flight, think about where your upper body is relative to your lower body, do a few rehearsals working on this, and I guarantee that's going to improve the delivery of the golf club and ultimately improve those shots. Right, let me hit one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do one rehearsal first. So I'm trying to replicate what I'm trying to do in my actual swing. So I'm going to go up to the top. Upper body stays on lower body. Now when I rehearse this, I might rehearse it a little bit more extreme than what would actually be reality. That's absolutely fine. I'm just trying to create the right feels. Okay, and let's go ahead and hit one. Okay, and I'd certainly be happy with that shot. Pretty straight, so club path must have been good, strike felt good, and hopefully I didn't create too much of the lateral bend to my right, which is what causes those issues. Hopefully that's helpful to you. As I said at the start, this tends to be a little bit more of an issue from a better player. They tend to hit draws, over draws, and that's often because of what the body does. If we can change that, we can change the delivery of the club, and hopefully hit some much, much better golf shots out on the course. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you did like that. If you did, click the like button. There's a comments box down below. So anything you've got to say about this video or any of the videos you'd like me to film moving forwards, please post those down below. And lastly, if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. There's loads more videos on my channel already, and there's loads more being uploaded weekly. There is a link in the description box down below, which will allow you to do just that. And it is absolutely free to do that. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.